What's going on? Uh, it's Dean from the Superior Comic Show. As you know, um, I wanted to be on a triple comic review. The only reason I'm doing a triple comic review is because there's three comics to review and because they're kind of short. Like they're short reviews because I kind of I've not glossed over them. But I read them in detail, but now like time has passed and you know yourself. Like, um, the comics I'm going to be reviewing is Scarlet Spider issue 17. Um, Doctor Strange Domination issue 4 and Deadpool issue 600 I think it's 600 over there somewhere um, the Marvel Universe kills Deadpool um, I'm going to start off with Scarlet Spider because that's like the tie into Doctor Strange Domination which is the finale of the Domination uh, storyline and then I'm going to Deadpool which is uh, it's kind of like the finale of the Marvel Universe killing Deadpool um, so Scarlet Spider issue 17 is a tie-in to the Damnation series um, I've reviewed the other tie-ins before if you go back on the episodes of the podcast you'll see those or I think it might have been on YouTube I'm not sure um, check it out anyway you'll find it it's not hard to uh, to navigate around um, so in this issue we were left off with Ben Riley making a deal with Mephisto a deal with the devil and the devil Mephisto uh, said if you help me get rid of those, uh, what do you call them again? The something sons, something sons, whatever they call themselves, Wong and his team. If you help me get rid of them, stop them from uh, trying to rearrange my my city, my little hotel, hotel inferno. Um, I will cure Abigail, and I'll cure your soul. He said, and this really intrigues Scarlet Spider, as he thinks he has a troubled soul, and. He agrees to this deal with the devil. So issue four or issue seventeen of Scarlet Spider starts off with Ben Roy having this kind of angel and devil, maybe as you could say, and he's kind of like asking himself, "Is this, this a good idea? You know, like is it is it worth it? Um, is he gonna do it? We don't know. He's kind of like in limbo as he's making his way towards the uh, something sons. What's the fucking sons? I can't remember the name. Uh, as he makes his way towards Wong and his team. He gets there eventually, and he has uh, another conflict. He's just about to intervene and fight on the on the side of the uh, the Ghost Riders, or whatever you want to call them. And he's about to intervene and, and take on Wong and his team before he kind of like has this kind of torn and put changes his mind. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we see Kane, which is this absolutely amazingly drawn Kane. Uh, big like skull, fire, flame, and face with this spider. That's amazing. This is one of my favorite suits. And uh, Spider-Man suit, <laughs> the ripped abs. It's some serious abs. He's been doing his subs, and uh, he targets Ben Riley, and he's saying, oh, "I can sense it. You're not gonna do it." So you know, I'm just gonna take you. And Ben Riley sees that. Obviously, Kane made the same kind of deal, and that's why he is now. Uh, uh, Hell Rider or whatever it is, the born in school guys. Um, so they have a bit of a scrap and they're kind of punching the hell out of each other. And Ben Riley pulls out this holy water stuff and they have to lead him away. So he leads Kane away, kind of grabs him in a chokehold, and then just pours this holy water down his throat. And he's like, This is either going to cure you or kill you. Either way, it's fine with me. And it cures him in the end. So Kane is uh, cured from this ghost rider state. And He's talking to Ben Riley then. Uh, he's finally, you know, he's, he's, he's normal now. He's not going to punch the head off anymore. He's talking to Ben Riley. <laughs> Excuse me, Ben Riley. And um, uh, Scarlet Spider was just his plan. And he made a deal. And Kane just reminded him, it's a deal with the devil, man. You know, like, he's going to he's gonna double cross it. It's, it's not all it seems. He's like, yeah, I know, I wasn't going to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Kane rides off in the sunset. And then Scarlet Spider comes back and he's, he's clear minded now. His conscience is clear, he's grand, and he's back fighting alongside Wong and his team. And it was a nice kind of it was a nice transitional issue really to see kind of the inner conflict between uh, the, the angel on the shoulder and the devil on the shoulder of Scarlet Spider. It was nice, I liked it, I really enjoyed it. I loved the the cane panel that goes right ahead, it's that ripped ah 
amazing. Um, after that then was Doctor Strange issue 4, the finale to the Damnation series. Um, we see it looks like the Wong and his team are really losing, they're really getting punched around. Um, but Mephisto comes out then and he's like, yeah, do you know what, I have you now, you're all done. Oh, he's kind of gloating because he killed Johnny Blaze. He's like, yeah, I killed Johnny Blaze. That was your only hope. That was like, was that your big plan? And what he doesn't realize is Johnny Blaze has become now the king of Hades or the king of hell, whatever. He's taken over and sitting in Fistel's place. And he's, uh, time works differently down there and all. And he's, uh, he basically swings the odds back into the favor of Wong and his team. And they're able to, like, kind of, he's able to bring back the, was the Avengers? The Black Panther and everyone that uh, had the Ghost Rider helmets, heads, bring them back, sort them out, and everyone hates Mephisto. So we gonna, we see this ending with Johnny Blaze on top, King of Hell, you know, he's a, uh, he made this great sacrifice, but it paid off. But now he's King of Hell, he's gonna stay there, you know. Um, and now everyone gets a pump at Mephisto, because everyone hates him. So everyone's kind of like uh, punching the head off Mephisto and we just see this kind of like merry-go-round of him getting, of Mephisto getting punched and kicked and battered because everyone hates him. And uh, Doctor Strange is back and um, they're admitting his plan was ridiculous in the first place. And everything's kind of set back to normal, back to the way it should be and everything's all peachy and rosy again. And it's a, it's, it's a good, it's a good, it's a nice whole ending to the, to the Damnation series. It was a nice raid. It was simple enough, you know. Some of the artwork in the Damnation series, I really should know the writers and the the artists, but um, so <laughs> some of the artwork was amazing, incredible in the Damnation series. Um, that's probably my, my standout. Like the, the plot was great, and you know, the characters were interesting and they all had their good interaction with each other, but the, the artwork was the best for me. The biggest thing. Uh, then, finally, I just read. Um, Oh, she grab it here. Oh, red. The Despicable Deadpool, issue three hundred. Jesus, six hundred was a bit of a stretch. Um, issue six hundred or three hundred. Three zero zero. Issue three zero zero. Um, Marvel Legacy. The Marvel Universe kills Deadpool. This was really interesting. Um, I want to go back. Peter was saying <laughs> I can get the trade. Um, I'm gonna go back through the storylines. This is really interesting. There's a lot of there's some stuff I didn't really understand, you know, because I hadn't read the previous ones, but I didn't really need it. This was just so interesting. Basically, what what's going on is um, everyone's out for Deadpool, obviously, um, and I'm gonna flick through and give it a quick review. But everyone's out to get Deadpool. Uh, basically, what it says here is he followed an evil version of Steve Rogers. Into the abyss, and now everyone has to pay. And now he has to pay the price. He's wanted for murder, murder, and he's guilty. The Marvel, the Marvel Universe is out to kill Deadpool, and everyone is just trying to punch his head in. Um, at the start, it says previously in our ten dollar issue, which is kind of important for the rest of the story. We see Deadpool on this kind of spa <coughs> spaceship in nowhere, K N, nowhere, as we've seen in the uh, Crazy Galaxy. And he gets the, uh, this kind of, is it like an injection or a serum or something like this green lady? Like it's, it's supposed to be a, a great weapon or whatever. And you see him testing out and seeing what it did to him, but it didn't do anything. It turns out that all it does is make everyone sick. So anyone within his radius just uncontrollably vomits. That's disgusting. And then we're back into the, uh, the actual issue then and we see all of the the Marvel Universe coming after Deadpool we see Falcon um, Voodoo Iron Man uh, who else do we see we see a lot of people Falcon Voodoo Voodoo Iron Man uh, Miss Marvel uh, who else do we see uh, Miles Morales <coughs> Daredevil but each one of them Wanda <coughs> each one of them comes up to Deadpool and is like, hey, you're finished now, we have you, and Deadpool is, he actually wants to fight, he wants to have this big showdown and have a big fight and, and lose, I suppose, but what happens is they get to a certain, 
distance to them and they just puke uncontrollably. They just vomit everywhere. And it's hilarious. Some of the the uh, the vomiting sequences are hilarious, like like Daredevil puking is I don't know why it's so funny but it is. Um <clears throat> we see Voodoo getting ready to puke, then he opens a little portal, pukes into the portal and the puke comes out over Deadpool's head. And um, we see uh Thor, the female Thor, um puking into our hammer as she swings it around so it just flies everywhere. Uh, we see Miss Marvel where her cheeks going really big, obviously because she can stretch as she's puking. Um, Vision gets like uh, sizzled because like the big guy. What's the big guy's name? I don't know the big guy's name actually, but some really big guy pukes all over Vision and fries his circuits, I suppose. Iron Man shows up in a suit, <clears throat> and Deadpool thinks finally someone can actually uh, take me on here. You know, you're safe when you're in the suit, I suppose until the suit opens and it just explodes in vomit and it's kind of sick to be honest it's it's really sick <clears throat> so this is going on everyone's just vomiting Deadpool can't handle it so he flies off and says you know what screw this I'm out of here and he gets into a car with uh, supposedly is it the, the the writer of this comic yeah it's a four wall break you know <coughs> And he gets into a vehicle with this, into a car, with the writer of this comic. And he's like, uh, he's kind of like slagging him about his comic and telling him like, you know, it's my comic now. I want to just do what I want. Kicks him out of the car, and takes the car. And then we see, <laughs> um, Captain America is pursuing Deadpool with um, what's her name again? I can't remember her actual name, the female cyborg. I'll just go back to the end of the comic here because this is her name here. This is gonna annoy me, I'm sorry, hold on. Just a second. Almost there. I'll call the female cyborg, the female cyborg. Um they pursue Deadpool. Go after him. And there's there's definitely a storyline in the background here that I don't know of. Considering um, um, involving the female cyborg and uh, Captain America because they have motives for going after him and they're kind of like trying to stop him. They're not even trying to kill him or anything, they're just trying to stop him. Um, he's just having a laugh, punching their heads in until he makes it to this kind of uh, medical supply store, kicks the door in, and he finds a lot of these uh, vials of liquid that were used before to wipe Deadpool's memory. And he basically puts up, I want to count them actually, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of them, maybe more. And just sticks all 11 of them into his veins and his body. And we're told by the female cyborg that even a small bit of it before would wipe his memory for days. So who knows what this will do. And then we're right into probably the most interesting sequence of panels in the whole thing. We see a very kind of sad panel of Deadpool lying there with uh, all these needles going into him and uh, he's just passed out but we see it's almost like he's in his own dreams wiping his own memories and he's going through all his memories and like he sees himself so he goes through like memories of himself with the female cyborg and himself with Captain America and he just shoots that like memory version of himself he just blows his own head off in his memories and that's him getting rid of the memories that's him like eradicating those memories and he goes through them all and it's really sad because he's making jokes the whole way through it but you can see there's some memories he wants to keep but he can't he he just wants a fresh start i suppose he wants to just get rid of them all and you can see him it's really sad he's just obliterating imagine going through your memories and obliterating all of the good memories even that'd be really sad it's, it's just it made me really sad going through them all you can see him when he's happiest him and uh him and Sheikla and he destroys all his memories, destroys all of his memories. And then he's left as a vegetable. Um, he's left just incapacitated. And he's smiling in his vegetable state. And then he's brought to a uh, court. And he's ruled, uh, what was it? Ruled insane or something like that. Uh, he's ruled mentally incompetent. And he's brought to a psychiatric unit and he's left there 
and then obviously all a few of the psychos in the psychiatric unit, and one of them tries to be Deadpool <laughs> in the psychiatric unit, and he's kind of just passed out, but he's listening, and he listens to this guy who's pretending to be Deadpool, mm. and he wakes up then, and he's like, no, I'm Deadpool, and he steals the guy's costume that he was using, breaks out of the psychiatric unit, and says, this is me, this is my fresh start, and you can see how fresh my start is, because he says, I'm starving, but I don't even know what I like to eat. And he says, time to make the chimichangas, you know, because Mexican feels right. And uh, that's the end of it. We see Deadpool getting ready for a fresh start, a fresh kind of reboot. So that'll be issue one, issue one now soon. And um, I want to go back, I think, and read the trade, because that was really interesting. It was kind of took on a hard strings with the same humour. But I really enjoyed it. So, that's my triple comic review. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit me up and let me know what I should review. Um, if you enjoyed those comics, if you have read those comics, um, just get interacted. I'll see you soon. Peace.